it looks like we're also finally hearing from USGS. They spoke just a short time ago. Yeah, and this is a, it was a little bit a bit curious because usually uh -huh. they're on with us right sure. literally within a few minutes after any size earthquake. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been a couple hours since we've heard anything from them. They've politely denied all requests from the media, I understand. Until just a minute or two ago, uh, we got this uh, statement and this uh, these comments from USGS. Take a listen. Good afternoon. I'm Anne-Marie Balte, a seismologist at the U.S. Geological Survey, reporting in on the magnitude 5.1 Seven Trees earthquake that occurred late this morning, October 25th, near San Jose, California. Seismic instruments indicate that the earthquake occurred at 11.42 a.m. local time and originated at a depth of just over four miles. The earthquake struck about 12 miles east of San Jose. The location of the epicenter suggests that this earthquake occurred within the Calaveras Fault Zone. Numerous moderate earthquakes have historically occurred in the area, including the larger magnitude 6.2 Morgan Hill earthquake in 1984. The Seven Trees earthquake was widely felt with over 18,000 Did You Feel It reports submitted as of 1 p.m. on October 25th, extending from Central California north to Sacramento and Sonoma County. The maximum perceived shaking for this earthquake was light near the epicenter, with light expected damage and no current reports of damage. Ground shaking appears to have been slightly less than our models expected for this magnitude earthquake. The initial shake alert earthquake early warning system estimated a magnitude 4.8. That alert was issued by the USGS five seconds after the earthquake was detected. That estimate grew as shake alert powered alerts were delivered to residents, potentially providing seconds of warning depending on their distance from the epicenter and how the alert was delivered. There is a 1 in 100 chance of an aftershock greater than magnitude 5 in the next day. There could be 10 to 15 aftershocks of magnitude 3 or greater in the next week. Aftershocks of this magnitude and duration are totally normal for an event of this type. If you do feel strong shaking, don't forget to drop, cover, and hold on. For information about this event and to learn how to stay safe during an earthquake, please visit earthquake.usgs.gov. Thank you. Okay, Anne-Marie Balte there from the USGS, just giving us some clarification mm -hmm. uh, from the source, and we were kind of waiting from them. They did tweet out something initially, uh, but that was it, the... Uh, 1142, 5.1, right there, about 12 miles east of San Jose. Uh, right now, not much damage, but certainly people felt it not only across the Bay Area, but across the Central Valley and down into the Central Coast. Yeah, she said they received about 18,000 reports of people feeling it, so a lot of people were able to feel it this morning.